If you clicked on this video, you belong to one of three categories of people. One, you know some coding and you're passionate about AI and you're looking to get into the scene or make a career out of it. Or two, there's a lot of FOMO you're feeling about getting into AI as a dev and you don't know what to do about it. Or three, you're simply curious about the domains of AI and just here to gain some knowledge. Regardless of who you are and which category you belong to, I'm sure you'll find some value when you watch this video until the end. Presenting the ultimate roadmap to becoming an AI developer. There are plenty of videos out there on the internet, but none of them give a clear point perspective on how you actually get into this. So me and my team spent a few days with some of the top engineers in the country, the folks who have been developers for over decades and have been actively working on generative AI projects. And one of them also sold his previous company to Unacademy. After getting all the intel from them, I've made it into a format that would be simple and straightforward for you guys to understand and follow. Let's dive in, but before that, hit the subscribe button. Now onto the roadmap. Number one, the prerequisites. Before you get into AI development, you need to have some coding knowledge and basic machine learning skills. It's like before riding a bike, you need to know how to balance yourself on a bicycle. There are three things you need to know before getting started with AI. Number one, programming language. Python is the most recommended language for AI development just because of its simplicity and the availability of numerous AI and machine learning libraries like TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Scikit-Learn. Python can be learned from many online platforms such as Code Academy, Coursera, or Udemy, or even YouTube. Here are some of their top three courses. Next step is the basic concept. Before diving into AI, having a good grasp of mathematics, especially statistics, probability, and linear algebra is essential. You also need to learn about data structures and algorithms, which are the fundamentals of efficient programming. Websites like Khan Academy or MIT OpenCourseWare will provide you free resources to build your mathematical foundation, and platforms like LeetCode and HackerRank will help you understanding data structures and algorithms. Next is the machine learning course. Once you take the first two points, we recommend the course Making Friends with Machine Learning by Kazi Kozrakov, which is a freely available ML course on YouTube. It's the best one to start with. Once you've covered these three prerequisites, you can get into the actual AI stuff. Now, AI takes a lot of computational power, so it's critical for you to have a really good processor. A high-end CPU, say an i7 or an AMD Ryzen 7, is a good starting point. 16 gigs of RAM is pretty reasonable for early development, and crucially, you need a powerful GPU like the RTX 3060, 3070, and if you can afford the 40 series, great. Make sure there's a good amount of storage. A 1TB SSD is a good start. And finally, an efficient cooling system. However, you don't have to invest in this high-end hardware upfront. You can use cloud-based solutions like Google Collab, AWS SageMaker, Nvidia Nemo LLM Cloud Service, Hugging Face Interference Endpoints, Mosaic ML Interference, and Paperspace. These cloud-based tools, although much less efficient than having GPU inside your PC, provide you with the necessary computational power to start out. Now let's move on to the software. Any modern OS like Windows, Linux, or Mac OS can be used for AI development. But Linux is often preferred for its flexibility and command line interface. A critical piece of software you'll need as a developer is obviously a code editor like Sublime or VS Code. However, you can also use cloud-based code editors like Replit. It's one of the best ones out there. You don't even need a computer to start with. You can write code from even your iPad or tablet. They've recently introduced a ghostwriter, an AI code assistant, similar to GitHub's Copilot. Think of it as an AI assistant that writes code for you. Since you'll be working with multiple developers on this project, you'll need a platform to collaborate on. And for that, you have GitHub. You'll also need a data analysis tool like Jupyter Notebooks or Pandas library in order to make your workflow faster. These tools help you avoid tedious task of downloading large dataset files and let you do the data analysis on the cloud. All right, so we have the knowledge, hardware, and software set. What do we do now? See, on a high level, a generative AI developer does one of these things. Build a model, train a model, or stitch together existing models to create something composite out of them. There are plenty of open source models out there for developers to use, so building a model from scratch may not be the smartest thing to do, especially if you're new to all this. You don't want to build on top of what has already been built with years of research. It's one of the privileges of living in 2023. Let's look at the two main ingredients to start building on top. Next, we have APIs. For those of you who don't know, an API is like a bridge between two systems. It's a messenger that communicates between two different programs. The OpenAI API and the Stable Diffusion API are great places to start learning how to interact with pre-existing AI models. APIs allow you to use the functionality of these models without having to delve into their complex details of their construction or training. To learn how to use these, you can check out their API documentation. Every product or service that has an API makes a document that guides you on how to use their APIs. And they're pretty easy to understand. Next, we have datasets. 
Data sets are fundamental for training your AI models. They're basically huge files with a lot of information. It can be text, images, audio, video, code files, or anything depending on what kind of training data you're looking for. For example, ChatGPT was trained on a huge data set consisting vast amounts of text data like books, articles, blog posts, websites, etc. Midjourney was trained on huge amounts of image data so it can learn what a cat looks like or what a human being looks like. Depending on the nature of your projects, different data sets will be required. Websites like Kaggle, UCI, Machine Learning Repository, and Google's Data Set Search are great places to find data sets for a variety of applications. Like I told you, the hard work has already been done by some smart people. Your job is just stitch these things together to make something of value out of them. You now have all the tools and knowledge needed to become an AI developer. But how exactly can you start applying this? Where do you even start applying this? That brings me to my final point. Communities and open source projects. Some of the best communities I've been recommended are Open Data Science, Data Science Central, Global Data Science Forum, and subreddits like r slash machine learning and r slash artificial intelligence. Coming to open source projects, GitHub is a fantastic place to get involved with projects like DALI Mini, Hugging Face Transformers, and Deep Face Live offering exciting opportunities to contribute and learn. Some of the devs I spoke to strongly recommended Hugging Face in order to find cool open source projects. Even participating in discussions on platforms like Stack Overflow, Reddit, and AI-related forums can provide valuable insight and experience. And there you have it, the ultimate roadmap to becoming a generative AI developer. After acquiring the skills and knowledge to become an AI developer, you can start working on self-startup projects like creating a chatbot, building a recommendation system, or even developing a facial recognition system. These are fun projects to embark on to test your skills and develop your knowledge. The job market for AI developers is robust and growing. According to Forbes, AI is expected to see an annual growth rate of 37.3% between 2023 and 2030. According to a McKinsey report, in 2022, 39% of businesses reported hiring software engineers and 35% hired data engineers for AI-related positions. This field is not slowing down anytime soon, and it's time for you to consider leveling up as a 100x engineer. We're going to announce something exciting very soon. So check the link in the description and don't forget to subscribe.